and, and, and you know, it's an unfortunate condition of Muslims. And I've got, you know, uh, now one or twice, it happens many times. Muslims phoning me, my friend wants to become Muslim, can you make him Muslim? I'm like, why you want to make him Muslim? Oh, I don't know how to do it. You you don't know how to do it? Like, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. You don't know how to read kalima? Oh, yeah, I know it. So you go make him Muslim, that's all you have to do. So anyone who wants to become Muslim, what he has to do, just read Shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. That I bear witness, there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wahdahu la sharika lah. He's alone. La sharika lah. He has no partner. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all you have to do? Yes. There's another condition. If he's a Hindu, you have to make him go against his, his uh, beliefs, all the beliefs he used to believe. That there are no many gods, there's only one God. You have to believe that. He has to say, yes, okay, that's fine. I believe there is only one God. There's no God for money. There's no God for this and that. And if he's a Christian, you have to ask him, why well, you have to disbelieve in that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, peace be upon him. He's the son of God. No, he's not son of God. He's the messenger of God. These are the few conditions you have to let them know. But when someone becomes uh, Muslim, he reverts, it's better tell him, go take bath. Or at least leave water up to your uh, hard one that knows.